in Kenya, some two and a half thousand miles from where you've last been with Safari Live there in South Africa. They've had a bumper afternoon. Two wild dog packs, can you believe it? We're sitting with three members of the Mugoro Pride a pride of lions that plies its trade just away from the Mara River and they're in a very exciting time of the year of course because we're sitting here during the migration season where you might ask yourself and me are the migrating animals well these cats have been yelling at each other calling and calling for the last little while and I think that has put to flight most of the migrating herds of zebra and wildebeest which are not far from here there are some off down towards the south and some off down towards the west so with any luck these cats are going to get up and start to hunt some of those uh, animals very soon the reason I hesitated there as I was speaking is that it looks rather distressingly like a fairly large storm is about to descend on our heads but we'll stay here for now very good to have you here from the teachers conference I hope you're having a good conference this is a very unusual kind of conference I imagine and I'll just quickly show you Manu way off to the far far end there you can see a whole line of zebras and wildebeest moving down towards the south they have quite possibly crossed the river today and they're now moving down to the south they will no doubt at some stage turn around and do exactly the same thing again in reverse at some stage we're into the business end of the Masai Mara uh, part of the migration which of course is Africa's greatest tale as far as I'm concerned we're sitting here in the midst of a migration of some two million animals. I know it doesn't feel like it right now. We're not quite amongst all two million of them. And in that ditch there, his aging hips protruding, you can see one of the most famous lions in all the world. His name is Scarface. He doesn't sound like Jeremy Irons. And with any luck, he will lift his head. He's been fast asleep there all day. His hips are so exposed because he's not a young man anymore. He's probably about 12 years old, I imagine. So we're going to sit here and hope that they're going to get up and go hunting. They may do that during the course of the night. While we do that, it's still a bit of light left, of course, in both parts of Africa that we find ourselves, and Taylor is still with the diurnal hunters.